things. Here's the motorcade back, just as I promised. You have to understand that we are actually, I believe, we're maybe going to get a look inside the motorcade. Is that what I just heard? And here we go. So this is a look from the motorcade as it moves through the streets of downtown Atlanta. This is looks like towards the middle or the back of that motorcade where the former president is traveling in one of those first Cadillacs or the first SUVs, I should say, behind that police escort, that large number of motorcycles from or uh, corresponding agencies from around the area, likely a lot of Fulton County Sheriff's Office deputies. I'm sure they're getting help from the Atlanta Police Department as well. But you guys right now are living in history as residents of Atlanta, residents of Georgia, as we get a look, Tracy, from literally inside the motorcade where the former president is traveling back to the airport. There are members of the press that are traveling with the former president, and that's how we're able to get this very unique uh, perspective here. And um, Alan, to your point of what you were talking about in terms of uh, the Republican Party really essentially being Donald Trump's party, you know, a number of candidates last night at the debate said they would still, actually a majority, all but two, yeah. said that they would still uh, back Donald Trump, even if he's convicted. And of course, um, this here in Georgia, the fourth indictment for the former president. But the question now is, as the former president heads back to uh, Trump Force One in Hartsville, Jackson, Atlanta International Airport, what happens next? Um, so the booking process has already happened. Heading back to New Jersey, heading back to his Bedminster Golf Club there. He has an estate there that he used as kind of a second home during the presidency. From what we are told, no events expected at his club upon his return. But you know what? He is Donald Trump, and Donald Trump Absolutely. does what Donald Trump does. But part of this process, he has been barred from communicating or using social media to target any of the co-defendants. So no doubt the judge, many judges will be watching that to make sure that does not happen, that there are no threats or veiled threats. Um, but at this point, we are still waiting for, um, a, a, you know, possible... Um, Anything else that could happen in this case, um, a judge could choose to arraign, you know, uh, the other defendants, the mm -hmm. other 18 defendants, um, or possibly allow them to um, waive their arraignments altogether. Um,